comment. What do you think about what you see when I'm demonstrating? What, how is it? How is it? How is it? Is it good? Is it like, it's, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, it's, oh, I, I think I can use this. Huh? Yeah? yeah? I think somehow we can use it. I think somehow yeah. we can use it. I hope so. Yeah. Maybe it'll seep in intuitively or subconsciously, but you try, you, you seed the unconscious by actually doing these little practices. And kind of, and, but exploring them sensorially, like, it's the same as in the lying on the floor stuff. What does it feel like? Oh, where's my left shoulder blade? Oh, where's my right collarbone? Oh, where's this one? You could do variations where you're doing this, but you've got one hand on the collarbone and seeing you know, where, where this goes and like that. There's all, there's like, there's innumerable variations. So, so sit on the thing and uh, so 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. And then do that with the bird. Oh, okay. I'm lucky I didn't have a beer at lunch because if I did, I'd probably be throwing it up right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's it. And then you could go 10.30, 4.30, 10.30, 4.30, 7.30, 1.30, 7.30. There's just, there's just so many you could do a little... A little watch, a wristwatch. You can do an alarm clock. You can do a wall clock, or you could do Big Ben. So just take a moment, don't lean back in your chair. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Make your legs, feel your legs as flying buttresses. Let the hands hang. And just check out. Knees a little closer together. Thank you. Knees a little closer together. You're fine, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, what's the sense of verticality? What's the sense of the two sit bones now? How? How much more of the actual surface of my sit bones do I feel in touch with the chair? It's not just a point. A lot of that whole ridge is there in touch. And is it? And look, I can micro move, like non move, my torso. I'm a little more in the right sit bone. Not even move my torso, but something shifted internally, and I'm a little more in the left. So do those. Just feel like you're really in the middle and now you're one gram more on the left because something shifted in the spine and is so tiny you don't even know what. And it might be a little bit further forward or it might be a little bit further back or it might be a little bit further left. And then you feel, my God, the, the hips can let go even more and I can rebalance again. And all the time you're monitoring the internal dialogue up and down, up and down your spine to make minute changes to the to the state of the hip joints and when the hip joints find this new release and the breathing changes and then you fool around with it being that one being a little bit further forward or that one being a little bit further back so when you internalize this the verticality and the verticality becomes like a tube you know those tubes where you go skydiving, but you're actually inside and the, the air is blowing up the tube and you're just hanging in midair in a, well, a tall tube? Make your body one of those. Make your body the tube in which people go skydiving. And then feel the spine as ah, it's going up to the top of the tube. And, ah, now the air is less, it's going down to the bottom of the tube. And, oh, it's going up to the top of the tube. 
Can you imagine if, like, if you were pregnant and you had a baby inside you and you could put the baby, wee, <laughs> put them all the way up to the top of yourself and wee, <laughs> that'd be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. So that's the kind of, it's dynamic sitting, it's sitting that's so responsive because you've, you've engaged in a, in a, a dialogue but a dialogue where you're asking questions and you're directing your attention and you're really feeling, hmm, how does this feel, how does that feel? Even down to individual ribs, even down to individual vertebrae. And, but how does each one relate to the whole? How does each one relate to this complex skeletal pelvic dance? It's constantly going on. This pelvic dance is constantly going on whether you're aware of it or not. And your brain is picking either the most basic decision, let's just lock it. <laughs> or your brain is taking you here and taking you there to help animate your hands on the keys. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go watch an opera. <laughs> <laughs>